Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how I film some of my art tutorials that I feature on my YouTube channels, the tutorials that I film indoors. So now I'm in my room, my new place. This is, this is my setup, which is nothing very fancy. It's a simple setup. It's just a camera, seated on a tripod, pointing to my sketchbook or sketch pad on my table. So this is a rather small table and you may notice that I have this black surface on top of the table. This is actually one large piece of cardboard. This cardboard is something that I have used for a few years. This is actually a new one because I have thrown the old one away which was uh, getting a bit roughed up. So this is how the sketchbook looks like against the black cardboard. I think the texture, it looks really nice. It contrasts really nicely with the sketchbook because it's black and white. This cardboard is still very new, but I'm sure I'm going to make it dirty after filming a few tutorials. Some watercolor or pen marks or inks are going to be uh, spilled onto the cardboard. And there is no way to wipe this cardboard, so this cardboard is going to absorb all the colors. And after a few years, I'm going to throw it away. So this is actually quite economical. I like the black surface because it contrasts really well with um, white color subjects. And beneath this cardboard is my foldable Muji table. This is pine wood. I like the texture on this wood because um, it works really well when taking product photographs or taking photos for my YouTube thumbnails. So for black subjects or darker subjects, it works well against this light textured background. And for lighter subjects, it works uh, better against darker background. So this is how the table looks like without the cardboard. I was really lucky to get this table because there is only one mark here. Otherwise, the green texture is very clean. I have another similar table with a lot of marks, so that was really distracting. But this table, I was really lucky to uh, get this. Another reason why I use cardboard over this table is because I want to protect the surface of this table. I want to keep this clean. When I use watercolor paints or other paints, some of the paints, they can be very staining. And once they get onto the table, it can be very difficult to scrub them out after they have dried. For example, uh, paints like Thalo Blue, they are incredibly staining, or Crinocridon Magenta, or any of the Crinocridon colors, they are very staining. Once they get onto the table, if the surface of the table is not treated um, to prevent those stains, the table is going to stain, and it's, going to, um, it's not going to look nice after that. So with this cardboard, I get the best of both worlds. If I need a black, dark background, I use this. If I need a light background, I use the table. All right, let's take a look at the camera setup. The camera that I'm using here is the Panasonic GH4, which I bought a few years ago. It's still going strong. And this is the image that I'm looking at. That's the sketchbook, which is on the cardboard. I try to film the sketchbook in such a way that it fills the screen so that you guys can see the details clearly. Sometimes I would um, use the macro mode to zoom in to really let you guys uh, see the detail. I'll show you that later on. And this above the camera, this is the wireless microphone. I'm actually using um, this in addition to another microphone which I'm currently using right now. This is the wireless one. The other one that I'm using is the Rode uh, wired cable lavier mic which does not need a battery so I can record non-stop for hours without worry about battery life uh, going down. But this particular microphone, this runs on battery so I have to be careful to see um, whether or not there is enough battery. Sometimes I would record halfway and the battery in the mic would run out. And that's when I have to do a retake. It's very frustrating. So that's why I like to use the wired lavia mic instead. This tripod that I'm using, this is a Valbon tripod. Notice that this particular tripod, it doesn't have those latch because 
this um, tripod uses the twist and lock type of mechanism which is really convenient because for me I use the tripod almost every day I need to adjust the feet several times an hour so having the twist and lock is really convenient it's an expensive tripod but it's worth it because I've used this for a few years and it's still very sturdy no signs of uh, wear and tear whatsoever on the left side this is my window you may notice that I have installed window grills because I have a baby now so um, I'm afraid the baby may climb out of the window that's why I have this window grill here and this used to be a floor to ceiling type of window but notice the paper that I've pasted onto the surface onto the glass I use blue tag it's not uh, it doesn't look that nice but it blocks off the sunlight from coming in onto the ground when it hits up the floor here it really heats up the room so having the paper there to block off the sunlight really helps a lot it doesn't look good but it's very functional I could certainly use the curtains to block off the sunlight and the heat but the curtain will block off everything so I still need the light so I decided to just block off the bottom half and on the left here this is my computer table this is a wooden table a wooden top with metallic legs at the bottom quite a sturdy table and this wooden table has very nice texture as well I can use this um, to take some product photography with wooden texture in the background it's really nice it looks like the sunlight is coming in I do not put the cardboard on this table because when I put it on this table this table is portable this whole setup becomes portable and I want this setup to be portable because I want to um, move the table out from the sunlight for example right now with the sun coming in it can cast shadows like this which is distracting when I film my YouTube tutorials like this for example and because of the shadow and light it's going to create um, some parts of the sketchbook is going to be in shadow it's not going to look nice and the colors they are not going to look right so I try to move the whole table out away from the sun soft bright lighting situations is the best when it comes to filming art tutorials I do have lights like this where I set on a tripod I can put it beside the table but I need to set up a few lights so that I can get even lighting if not these lights they will cast strong shadows as well this lens that I'm using on the Panasonic camera this is an Olympus lens the 12 to 55 mm lens now this particular zoom lens comes with a macro mode so this allows me to really zoom in to the details up close now most zoom lens they do not have macro mode in fact the camera that I'm using right now with a zoom lens it does not have the macro mode so this is the closest this zoom lens can get now let me switch over to using this lens on this camera to let you see how close I can get so with the macro mode of the lens you can zoom into details like this really up close this is something that handphone cameras cannot do and let me show you how this pen will look like without the macro mode and this is how it looks like without the macro mode so now the front of the pen it no longer fills the screen and this is the closest I can get to the front of this pen this Panasonic camera and the lens they use the micro four thirds format that's why the lens are interchangeable with the cameras the camera that I'm using right now to shoot this video this is the Panasonic GH5 I bought this because I can hold the camera and film without the video footage become um, very shaky so this camera is what I use to film all my outdoor videos and this camera here is what I use to film all my indoor videos now if you want to make your own art tutorials you don't need such expensive setup you just need a tripod this is essential if you are using your phone um, you can buy those phone tripods but I do recommend you get a full-size tripod 
you just have to find a phone holder to attach to the tripod and you can you can start filming so the most important thing when it comes to filming is light and audio followed by the camera the camera is not that important if you have good lighting if you have a very bright room even the lousiest handphone camera it will work well but if you have very lousy lighting situations where it's always cloudy it's very dark in your room um, no matter how good your camera is the video is going to come out dark and it's it's not going to look good so lighting is very important the second thing is audio audio is very important as well because people want to hear what you say clearly if you have good visuals your camera is great but your audio it has a lot of static or there's a lot of background noise then people are going to be turned off um, very quickly so uh, audio is as important as lighting and right now i'm using this white mic this is the Rode Lavia mic see this cable here this is actually connected to the 3.5 uh, audio jack on my camera and then i hook it up here onto my t-shirt and the last thing that is um, essential for filming of course is the camera you can use any camera to film it's not that important remember lighting and audio they are more important so if you already have a camera or a handphone camera um, actually having a handphone camera might be better compared to a normal camera because normal cameras they may not have the 3.5 audio jack you cannot connect the mic to the camera and you will if you cannot connect the mic to the camera it's very difficult for you to capture good audio because the microphones on cameras like this they are not that good and they capture a lot of background noise so if you are actually using a handphone camera you can get one of those um, mics that connect to the handphone basically this type of mic that connects to the handphone and you can start recording it's that easy if I need to do any voiceover, this is the mic that I use. This is the Audio Technica AT2020. Comes with a stand that is adjustable, and this connects to the computer through the USB port. I record voiceover when I'm doing time lapse video and when my battery in the wireless mic suddenly dies and I do not have any audio footage. So this is where it comes in handy. So that's basically how I film my drawing tutorials. I'm wearing a hat today because this is helping me block out the glare. When the sun is out, it can be very bright and it's really glaring. So having the hat really helps. Today is a cloudy day, so it's not too bad. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is when you are looking for tripods, you can get something like a horizontal arm that extends uh, that can be attached to the tripod on top of the tripod and the horizontal arm will go out like this and you can attach the camera to the horizontal arm and you can have the camera just um, pointing right straight on top of the sketchbook if you have the horizontal arm the camera will be pointing onto the table like this you get a top-down shot like this I do not have that arm because it's quite expensive so my camera is pointing to the sketchbook from the side as you can see earlier and this is how it looks like which I think is good enough for me because it's still able to show what I'm doing and that is all it matters so that's all for today's video if you have any questions let me know in the comments section if you want to find out um, the things that I actually use like the cameras the models um, the links will be in the video description below Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.